Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. Today's a big day for the GSX. We got a lot of stuff we got to do today. And basically, all I'm doing is I'm running around cleaning up all the stuff that I left behind that I've been procrastinating and pushing off. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that I'm just cleaning up, getting ready, because once the motor gets here in a week or two, I want my whole focus to be on getting the motor in the car, getting the motor cleaned up, and getting the car running. I don't want to be chasing my tail around trying to clean up stuff that I, I wish I would have did weeks ago. So we're reaching my deadline when I wanted to have the car finished, and I think we're going to make the goal. You know, as long as nothing stupid happens, we should be on time, and that would be awesome. So. Um, it's important that I get this thing cleaned up and get this thing ready to go. So. Alright guys, I pushed the car outside, spun it or moved it back over here a little bit so I can get to this side a little bit better. First thing I'm gonna do is do the other side. You can see this latch here. I'm gonna pull this off, uh, soak it, clean it up a little bit, put it back in. I'm gonna get the brush out, brush this stuff off. Fun fact, both doors shut 10 times better now. I think the latch needed actually adjusted up a little bit, so that's what I did. And now they close 10 times better. So uh, I got the taillights pulled out again because I do have a whole new set of taillights coming. You can see how dull and faded those are, and they got some cracks in them and some, some bad stuff. Anyways, uh, I got the original Eclipse centerpiece. It still has all the lettering. It's, you know, it's still the same factory finish. So I'm excited for that because I, the, the painted piece is nice, I guess, but I prefer the whole bar going across all the same red. And then uh, the reason I painted it was because it didn't have the Eclipse lettering and I wanted it. So now I have both. I'll have this and I'll have the stock one with the Eclipse lettering. I can change them out at any time if I want. Um, so that's nice. But anyways, those are out now. So let's keep moving. So I forgot to put the new fender liner on this side. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pull this one out and get the new one in on this side. Wow guys, perfect timing. I'm over here working on the car and my car seat shows up. Oh, I guess it's not a car seat. Tail lights are here. Sweet. Guys, I'm beyond I am so mad right now. I... I need to calm down for a second. This Nothing pisses me off more than this I'm sorry. I'm gonna show you the pictures that they had posted of these tail lights, and then I'm going to show you what I actually got. So here's the left side. Doesn't look in great condition to me. It looks like you threw it around through the mud and cracked it a couple times. That definitely doesn't look at all like what I purchased, and it looks like you threw it into the mud, stumped on it a few times, and then put it in the to ship it out to me and uh, the chrome is literally off all the letters yeah this one looks great too nice crack over here too excuse my language I am so freaking furious right now all right back to business got the fender liner out got the new one in and uh, everything's pretty good the, uh, the fitments a lot better than the other side was um, but this bolt's sort of stripped on the front, sort of. It's stripped on the front, I don't know how. But I'm gonna run into Lowe's and uh, get another set of these. And I think it's the same bolt for every single tab. But all the tabs lined up fine. Uh, all the holes lined up perfect. So uh, I just gotta run in and grab more of these. And then whenever I go to put this back on, if you guys remember in the other video I bought, uh, that bag of these clips because all these were broken so I can uh, finally pull all these out and replace these with new ones and clip that in there. Alright guys the fender liner is in on the front side now I put new clips on this thing it is not going anywhere uh, some new clips there and then I went to Lowe's and got some stainless steel bolts going the whole way around to secure this 
Uh, so hopefully, as long as I don't rub it all uh, and that freaking rip a hole in the tire, we should be okay. Uh, there was bolts there before, but they snapped. So I, I don't think they were rubbing or anything like that, but they might have been, so I don't know. Anyways, uh, the only thing that was weird about the fitment on this one was it doesn't really line up inside here. So what I'm going to do is once I have the bumper and I can clip this side into the front bumper, once I do that, then I'll figure out that. But I don't want to mess with that now. Got the back wheels off and I noticed a few things and I just wanted to address it while I was back here. So I came back here to black out the wheel wells and uh, I found a nail in that tire, but... Uh, luckily it didn't go through so that's cool but I want to replace these clips here I already did that on the other side which I'll show you in a second uh, but I'm, I'm gonna black out the wheel wells and I noticed something that kind of was like what the heck uh, there's little spacers here in the in the spring here so I don't know if maybe the car was sitting too low in the back and rubbing so they put those uh, spacers in the spring I'm not going to mess with them at all, I'm just going to let them go, um, but I went ahead and I treated back here for rust, there was just a, just a touch of surface rust here, so I, I treated that a little bit there, I treated that, and there was no rust at all in here, but these, these cars typically rust out in here, so I put a little bit in there just to be safe, and then the whole way around, uh, somebody at some point rolled the fenders and it was just getting some surface rust in here And so I I just went ahead and hit that as well But let me show you the other side how I put the new clips in the bumper Did the same thing over here treated for rust at the, the couple spots and I put new clips in here uh, Bolted this back down then I'm at once once the uh, the rust converter and everything dries then I will spray the whole thing black. Both ball joints here on the control arms are are shot, so that's something I'm gonna need. Uh, it's it's like that on both sides, so I definitely want to get that. That's a safety issue. I have to replace those. They're fairly cheap. Uh, I was gonna get a whole new suspension set just to just to do it, but honestly, everything else seems to be in good shape. That's the only thing on the car, suspension-wise, that seems like it's it's not up to par. I'm going to try and pull that off now and see if that comes off easy. I'll pull the calipers off and I'll sand them down, paint them like the front. Okay, that side came off pretty easy and I'm very glad I checked back here because there was literally only one bolt holding on the caliper when there's supposed to be two. So I just, I can't help but to think that like, I just feel like, I don't know. I. I trust the guy that sold me the car, but I just don't know, you know, he had someone else help him tear it apart and stuff, and I just, I didn't get a whole lot of details once I got the car, they tore so much stuff apart and just didn't tell me. At least I have one bolt that I can go to Lowe's or something and get grade 8 bolt equivalents to attach that. I think that's where I'm going to stop for today, I'm super tired, uh, finishing up the wheel well, so I got both the brakes off on both sides. I just sprayed in the, the black here so it'll flatten out in a little bit. Alright guys, it's the next day and it figures. I've been wanting to take this thing out and wash it and get all this buffing compound off it. And today is literally the most beautiful day we've had in, I don't know, two or three weeks. So today would have been a perfect day to do it, but now I have the back wheels off and the brakes off and everything. I mean, I guess I could throw the wheels back on quick and run it over there but now you can kind of see the wheel wells since they've dried up it looks better than it did all right i took the hood off again so i have a little bit more room to work in here i got the brake master cylinder back onto the booster got the reservoir mounted on the firewall got the horn mounted back on the firewall uh, tightened down all the suspension bolts i pulled off and retightened all my brake lines because none of they were all just sort of finger tight so uh, I made sure they're all tight and ready to go. Uh, so that's it. I got to look for some wipers or some uh, washer sprayers because here's the line for it, but the hood doesn't have any in them. So I got to figure that out. But honestly, I'm not worried about that right this second. So another day is going by. I really didn't get much else done yesterday um, besides mounting that stuff on the, 
to the back of the engine bay and that's about it i kind of got irritated i'm gonna talk really fast here and try and just spew this all out for you really quick so i can end the video and stop taking up your time uh long story short I've been wanting to just completely get rid of this uh, wiring harness and I just haven't been able to find one. So when I bought the engine, one of the most appealing things to me was that it came with a wiring harness already. The problem is on the inside of the car, there is a few connectors. All the yellow ones here go to the ECU and then it actually branches off right here and goes back to you know, the HVAC controls the ignition, it goes back to the O2 sensors, the fuel pump, all that good stuff. And so basically the new one that comes with the engine, they cut it right here, right down the freaking middle at that Y section. So the only wires that come with that harness are right here. So I started freaking out and I was looking around for harnesses and there were four or $500 for a freaking uh, half decent harness for a 97 and up. So what I thought about doing was cutting this thing right down the middle and just, you know, splicing in the new connectors, plugging it in and hopefully figuring that out. But that wouldn't have solved my problem of the connectors up front that have been giving me problems and that I can't figure out what they're for and the splice wires and that sort of thing. So by some stroke of luck, I found a guy selling a 97 to 99 GSX harness that will literally it's it's in mint condition. And he's only asking 60 bucks for it. And the guy's like 30 minutes away from my house. So I can literally go up tonight, pick up a whole new wiring harness. I can pull this out of the car, lay them side by side, make sure everything is good, everything's correct. And then just literally throw the, well, as easy as I make it sound, just throw the new harness in and call it a day. And I know there's a lot of different, uh, a couple minor differences between the 95 and 96 and the 97 and up as far as like the cam angle sensor and the firing order and the injector order. But since I'm buying a 95 engine and a 95 ECU, I shouldn't have any issues like that. So as long as the harness is good, all the connectors are good, nothing's cut, nothing's spliced, I should be able to pull this harness out, put the new one in, plug the ECU in, plug everything on the motor in and start the thing up. So that's a huge step in the right direction for me. As far as the taillights go, I'm gonna send the taillights back, hopefully. I contacted the guy, just told him that I wasn't accepting them. So I'm waiting to hear back from him so I can either ship those back or, or something. But regardless, I'm in the market for another set of taillights and a couple odd and end things. Uh, I didn't get the calipers painted yet because I was just focused on everything else right now. But I'm gonna try and start painting these calipers in another video and some odd and end stuff. My pod gauge should soon be here. The, the front bumper should soon be here. And by the time I get all that stuff, the engine should be a couple days behind. So I'm really excited and I'll see you guys soon.